Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Legend with me, Bring It On. Let's fight some dogs. Into the fray, I say. Yeah, that works. I should have turned him this way. Alright, visceral thrust. Cost all three. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay, it's like this. Ah! <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. Oh, okay. They do it this way. Gets rid of Sanctuary as well, but that's fine. We'll make it work. this on yourself. Then heal up a little bit. We'll turn this way just to make our, sure our back is safe. Gonna use Sanctuary again. Ah! <laughs> oh, that yell is absurd. I don't need to cast that every time. It probably lasts the whole fight just like uh, Rage does. <laughs> Let's see, what does she have on her? Disease and bleeding. We can get rid of that. Come over here and light this guy on fire. No, it just says burnt. Yeah, it has sanctuary up, so let's do rage. Let me come over here and hit this guy with a stomach punch. Get a little bit of healing off of him, do a little damage. I should have used Catalyzing Blast. It's fine. We'll make it work. <laughs> I've not been playing this fight optimally in any capacity. Alright, screw it. Let's start taking care of these jokesters. The best way we know how.
Let's move back one more so we don't hit our buddy. His turn and Blade Flurry, then we'll finish him off next turn. <laughs> Finally finish this fight. It's been way too long fighting these dogs. And I don't feel like we have a lot to show for it. Well, she's almost done with Exorcism, which is nice, and he's almost done with Visceral Thrust. So, I mean, we made made a little progress. So, from this side. I didn't see any chests in this area. inside the church. Well, he's not on this side. I said there's no way inside the church head. Haven't explored the whole area yet. Hey, some more enemies. What's up, buddies? Uh, put you over here, I guess. Well. Do it this way. Feel a little safer like that. Uh. Alright, Mr. Thrust, this guy in the back. Sanctuary. Uh. Take my whole, my whole team. And I guess... He's gonna multi-shot this guy. Put bleeding on him as well. Rage up. Ugh. What? Oh, that use first aid? Whoopsies. Ah. Alright, easy first kill. What does he have on him? He has poison, so let's go and use this on him. I think she masters exorcism. He loses all of his other buffs, which is a crying shame. He doesn't have enough action points to do anything about it. <laughs> okay. I multi shot him. A catalyzing strike him or a shot. 
First chance we get, and throwing knife him. And then there was one. Oh, that was a big hit. 158. That's with Sanctuary up too, which is supposed to reduce damage. Ah! <laughs> I'm never going to get tired of that scream. Let's finish this guy off. Wasting a lot of time in these fights. Let's see, she probably mastered exorcism. Yeah, she did. So it's probably worth putting her back on sharpshooter. Well, actually, you know what? I like her being an inquisitor. She gets better passives this way. Because she gets sentence, receive additional adrenaline when applying a debuff to an enemy. And then Witch Hunter increases skill for every living non-human enemy on the field. She has plenty of marksmanship. I'm going to swap her back to the Inquisitor just so she has the best equipment. Yeah, equipped. Yeah, that works. I'll keep her as an Inquisitor for now. It gives her more options. Then he finally finished high powder shot, so all he needs to do is finish glass cannon, and he'll be done with that. And then Enny is here, needs to finish low blow. 25 and 20. Yes, yeah, so this is the best he can do. When Ennis is done with that, I'll probably make him into a Marauder. So he can learn Rage. That uh, easy strength increase. Strength buff. Didn't even see that chest. If that uh, interact icon that hadn't popped up or indicator, I wouldn't have uh <laughs> wouldn't have grabbed that chest. A ton of shortcuts. Which are very welcome. Because it should allow me to avoid fighting a lot of enemies on our way back through. At least that's that's the plan. I watch a tire two again. This is probably locked. Yeah. By some contraption. What's that way? The slums district. Alright, good. We have a couple of quests in that direction, so it's good that we found where it's at. This feels like the way forward. Let's get back into this alleyway. And deal with, well, these might be quest guys, they're not patrolling. It's a quick save. It's also a pretty big fight.
Please help me! They've gone mad with fog! Oh, we're saving this guy. Alright, we're not saving that guy. He, he is now dead. I guess we gave it our best shot, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was scripted, because he didn't take all of his health and damage there. So. Nothing I could do about it. Rage up, and then stomach punch him to get back up to full health again. Sustain ourselves while we harm ourselves. And then here, I wouldn't mind... Alright, that works out. Okay. Low blow. We're just going to use Flayed Blurry here. I only took one hit. Alright, didn't have to use Flayed Blurry, but it's fine. Not a huge fan of him being out this far, but I really want to master glass cannon. I think it'll be okay. Especially when I kick a guy in his spine and he, he crumples like a sack of potatoes. I probably shouldn't worry too much. Oh, wow. Oh, so that one guy we spoke to was part of the main quest. I did not recognize that. So I was looking for another quest here. I thought maybe I said too many quests on the side of my screen. So it didn't give me another one. But no, the guy we spoke to about uh, not risking his neck last episode. He's part of the main quest. Ooh, Don Watch Attire 3. I don't think we've seen 3. I mean, it's fancy. But this is better for her because she... Uh, it gives you a bigger uh, marksmanship bonus than the Don Watch Attire does. So... And that is her shtick. She shoots real good. In fact... So he's finally done with this. I can swap him to the Marauder class, I think. I'm gonna start with Rage because he already has Blade Flurry. Blade Flurry and... 
stomach punch, I guess first aid. Check this side for any loot. I didn't see anything through the trees, but I was also looking through trees. An item or chests are hard enough to find in this game without having to sift through foliage to find it. Oh gosh. Alright, here we go. Oh, I'd love to pick my units if you'd let me over there. Alright, put you up here. I'm going to clump everybody together just to make it easier to get my Sanctuary buff on everybody. Alright, Rage up. And then just so we heal off the guy, I'm going to hit him with a dagger for that uh, Rubito heal to make up for the health that I used to rage myself in the first place. Alright, Sanctuary. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's, that's silly. Oh, that was a nasty hit. 157 health. Really not a fan of that. Uh, let's move over one so I can hit him with glass cannon. I'm really not a fan of our current position. Let's hope she hangs in there. Let's rage this guy. And then punch the guy beside him. Oh, he's tanky. Oh, this is up. He's got a shield. That would do it. Alright, so I'm gonna run this guy down. So I want him to just keep popping shots into me unopposed like this. So. Nope. I didn't mean to go over here. Just wanted to go beside this guy. I misclicked. In fact, I 
Yeah, it hits Ennius, but it, it hits two of them, so I think that's an equal trade. So Sanctuary does not last as long as Rage does. It's because it wore off last turn. Sorry, I know he's taking reduced damage because we're attacking him from the front. But that's okay. I'm just trying to get catalysts on him right now. And the more the merrier. I should put it. Uh, acid flask on him. So that increases the damage they take so long as he stands in the, the pool of acid. Ah! <laughs> but this guy's basically a boss. Look how little damage he's taking. I'm pretty sure the actual boss that we fought took more damage than he has. That sucks. Yeah, let's go ahead and put acid on him. Try to increase the damage that he's taking. And then slowly chop her way through this. It's like trying to cut down a tree with a noodle. Does he have rage up? He does not. All right, works for me. And then we'll just do this. I want to get all the catalysts that we can on this guy. And I'm hoping my main character can cut him down with one big catalyzing strike next turn. So let's hope for the best. Heck yeah. Look at all that healing, plus 85, was it four times? That is absurd. Alright, let's heal her up. So I can just do it here. Yeah, that was one, one tough nut to crack. Gotta hand it to him. He was not going down without a fight. Is that new? The flintlock rifle? Because we had the wheel lock rifle. I'm pretty sure the flintlock is new. Sharpshooter and executioner. The explosive shot is new. So that gives her something to work towards. Let's change her to the sharpshooter. She got a rifle, so she unlocks explosive shot. Lob a grenade at the target, inflicting trauma before placing an expertly placed shots detonated, dealing explosive damage. Deals damage to the target, applies Negrito and Citronitis. And then, oh, we already had Snipe. And then Named Bullet, deal 50% more damage against the first target this unit hits. Then he's done with this, so I'm going to swap him back to the Plague Doctor. This unlocks Beacon of Ain Sof. We saw chemical vapor in the air that restores vitality and balances the bodily humors. 
Restores HP to the target, removes all humor stacks, removes all negative status effects. So it's like a really big heal. I will take it. It's going to give him a throwing knife. Perfect. I think this opens up a shortcut, right? No, it's locked by a contraption. What's in that direction? The graveyard district. Okay. Well, I think we just cleared out this entire area of enemies. Another triple barrel pistol. Nope, there are still more enemies. No, 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 absolutely not. You savages are not setting a single foot in my clinic. I'll cut you with every scalpel and glass vial in this room. You've had your fun during the tithe of blood. Controlled circumstances will provide the best results now. These patients need rest, so they may recover for the next harvest. Damn it all. I've broken my oath as a practitioner for you people. But how else will we get our antidote? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to call the episode here. And the next one will continue through the church district. We'll return back to... Arsane? I think that's how it's pronounced. Arsane. Turn in that quest. I'm sure he's going to unlock one of the... Yeah, either the graveyard or the slums district for us. Hoping for the slums district because we have two quests in that direction. And I would like to clear out our quest log if we could. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.